Hey everyone, this is Ian with Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. Today I have an exciting Royal Enfield to share with you. This is a 2023 Classic 350 in Halcyon Gray. And in this video, we're going to talk about its standout features, specifications, the three year unlimited mileage warranty that they come with from Royal Enfield. And at the end, uh, we'll get to hear it uh, run, hear that nice exhaust note from that 350 thumper. Um, and we'll talk about some cool accessories we offer for these as well. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome to Alpha Cars. We share daily motoring content, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out. But now, let's take a closer look at this Royal Enfield. Let's start out by admiring this color for one second. Really, it is such a cool shade of color, and I love all the details and accents Royal Enfield has put into it. Uh, as we go through this video, you'll get to see um, kind of little things I'll, I'll point out of really uh, things that bring out the attention to detail that Royal Enfield put into this machine. And it's, it's really a head turner, you know, riding down the road, getting gas, you're going to get you're going to get people going out of the way to look at this or even, you know, say hi and, and ask you ask you questions about it. So let's talk about the specifications, uh, starting with the beating heart. It's a 350cc uh, single cylinder. It is a four stroke and it is fuel injected. So behind uh, these, uh, you know, pretty looking side covers that keep that classic look, uh, there is a throttle body with a fuel injector in there. And the, the fueling is very sorted on these bikes. It's tuned great. They cold start easily. Uh, they run super smooth. Their auto response is great. I've got some uh, riding reviews on these, on these bikes out. I'll link one um, in the video for you to watch if you're interested. But uh, really, they knocked it out of the park with the fueling on them. And also, they're very, very uh, efficient. Royal Enfield uh, quotes around 89.5 miles to the gallon. And with a, a 3.4 gallon tank, you're going to have, you know, maximum amount of smiles per gallon um, and smiles between fuel stops. You know, you can go out for an afternoon or a pretty long ride um, without, you know, stressing about finding a fuel stop with a small gas tank. Uh, back to the engine, they are air and oil cooled. So we can see no complications of, of radiators or different hoses or another fluid to maintain. Um, once again, keeps that classic look, keeps the simplicity and the reliability up. And we have uh, the nice cooling fins on the cylinder jug, even some cooling fins, kind of like a little heat sink on the header pipe right there. And of course, the oil circulating around the engine aids in keeping it at a safe operating temperature as well. Checking out, uh, we have a foot, our foot peg and shifter. It's a five-speed gearbox. Uh, gearbox is very smooth on these, very easy to find gears and find neutral. Uh, really a delight to use. And uh, talking about the wet weight, 430 pounds. So very manageable, uh, especially with that low seat height. 31.6 uh, inch seat height so uh, very standard weight for you know a bike of the size in this class and what I mean by the wet weight um, that's the actual weight you're gonna be riding and handling and maneuvering it's the weight you want to know uh, don't be fooled so to speak by a motorcycles uh, dry weight because that's doesn't have any fluids in the bike like uh, gas oil brake fluid etc so like I said 430 pounds wet now the uh, kind of suspensions, wheels, and brakes. We've got a 19 inch spoked wheel in the front and an 18 inch spoked wheel on the back. Love the look of these. Uh, the rear shocks have a six step uh, preload adjustment. So we can see the little um, kind of cam style adjuster there. The bike comes with a tool to adjust that as well. So you can dial in your spring preload um, depending on if you have a passenger or luggage or just want to have the bike uh, handle a certain way. Uh, 6.7 inches of ground clearance, so plenty of ground clearance for speed bumps and just a rough road. No worries there um, when you're out on the open road. Getting onto the brakes now, 270 millimeter disc in the back. We can see it is drilled and it is a floating design with a single piston caliper. And in the front we have a very good size 300 millimeter disc once again floating design and drilled with a two piston caliper and it is uh, standard abs 
front and rear. Uh, the brakes feel great on these, uh, pretty good initial bite and easy to modulate. They're not like an on off switch, so to speak. Um, I was very impressed when I have ridden these bikes. In one of those attentions to detail I was talking about, you can see the inside of the rotor, uh, even the ABS tone ring, the kind of disc you see there with the little slots in it, uh, that's all painted black. So that's really gonna take a very long time to rust or corrode. Um, you know, I've even had bikes in a higher price point and those inner surfaces are not painted and they immediately corrode the moment you ride it, like in the rain or anything. Um, and I think it just looks sweet with that kind of black accent. So good on Royal Enfield there. Really an awesome attention to detail that just makes these bike, bikes even more of, uh, you know, getting great value for your money. So before I throw a leg over it and we go over the controls and the multifunction gauge, check it out, it's on a center stand. Another thing to really up the value of these, a huge value, uh, you know, standard feature in my opinion. Uh, so many bikes nowadays, they, they don't come with center stands anymore and they're hundreds of dollars to buy and install if you're gonna pay, you know, someone's labor to install them. And they're really so useful. So we can see, I can spin my rear wheel I can do chain maintenance. I can remove a wheel if I need to like change a tire or fix a, a flat. And the bike straight up, it's nice and safe uh, to, to store it that way. It's not leaned over, taking up space um, as well. So once again, that's standard on these. Really, really awesome to see that, especially, like I said, these bikes are already so reason reasonably priced. So now let me throw a leg over it and we will talk about the controls and the dash here. So starting on our clutch side, we of course uh, have our clutch. Uh, I like the light switch on these bikes. It's kind of like a three-way switch. So right now it's on low beam. Uh, flash to pass, you bump to the right, and high beam, you flick it to the left. And the button on the back that we're used to having our high beam or momentary high beam, um, that controls the multifunction of the gauge, which I will show you that in one second. And of course we have our uh, blinkers, they're not self-canceling, so make sure to cancel those out, and our horn. And then over on our throttle side, uh, we of course have our throttle, front brake, another one of those uh, kind of three-way switches. And I will notice, uh, note, this is an another one of those details I was talking about. Uh, this says Royal Enfield since 1901. It looks really nice with that kind of, you know, writing inscription in it. Royal Enfield could have just left that a blank piece of plastic. And while I don't think anyone would have complained, they just really went above and beyond to do things like that. Makes it, you know, a nice item to look at and it's just a, a running gear switch. <laughs> so right now it's in the run position. That's kill and start. You bump it to the left. Another awesome standard feature on these uh, are four-way flashers or hazards. So all we have to do is flick our key on, bump the switch over, and we can even turn the key off and they remain on. Uh, if unfortunately we're in a situation where we want to have our hazards on, uh, it's just such a safe feature and a, and a feature that adds a lot of value in my opinion. Um, that same bike I had mentioned I, I had owned before with the inside of the brake discs not being painted, that didn't have four-way flashers either. <laughs> um, and it's, it's a, really hard to add these on, on most bikes aftermarket. Normally it's, it's some complicated wiring or, or kit to install. So once again, just good on Royal Enfield there. I really like that. Uh, now, looking at our gauge, uh, this is another detail I'll point out. The Royal Enfield Classic 350, this kind of nice looking uh, cap here logo, uh, on bikes that have the tripper navigation pod that are optioned with it, uh, that's where that goes. But as you can see, this one is not optioned with it. And once again, they could have just made that a blank plug, blank piece of plastic, and they just really went above and beyond to add just a nice little styling touch there and make it, make it nice to look at. I don't think it looks out of place. I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. So turning our key on, we did the nice, uh, it did the nice kind of gauge sweep there, doing its self check. Sorry about the sun. We've, it's a nice sunny day in New England, but the sun is making filming a little challenging here and there. So we can see right now uh, it has 10 miles on it. If we use uh, this button I'd mentioned before, we go to our uh, trip one, trip two, clock, and then back to our, our odometer. And then if we want to reset 
uh, a trip. We just have to be on the respective trip, so we're on two. And then we're just gonna push and hold the button. And within a couple seconds, it resets itself. Very easy, very intuitive. And we have a fuel gauge there, if we can see that. And we're, we're almost full on gas, so that's nice. <laughs> But another feature I love on modern bikes, not having to keep track of your mileage when you filled up or check the tank, or it just takes the stress out of riding. Um, to just like jumping in your car, you just have a fuel gauge and it's easy to tell um, where you're at there. And before I start it, I'll just aim the camera down at our controls. Foot pegs are very comfortable. The positioning of the shifter um, and the uh, rear brake, very uh, natural. And these, the seats are very comfortable, it's a very, kind of natural upright position, um, especially with these bars that kind of have the rise to them. Very, very comfortable bike. You could spend hours on this and not get tired out. But now, as I said, uh, let's start it up. And I will put my hand on the header for you. I'll probably have to wipe my fingerprints off because it's a nice chrome header. But we can see I can just hold that. It is a cold start. Uh, the header actually feels a bit colder than my hand. <laughs> so it's in neutral. All we have to do is bump the starter, and as I said, the bike will speak for itself with how good the fueling is on these. It starts right up, no messing with a carburetor. And after it idles for like even five or 10 seconds, you could honestly just take it out on the road. Uh, you know, a carbureted bike that's still warming up, you maybe don't want to do that, it probably wouldn't be safe. <laughs> so just very impressive by Royal Enfield, and I will note, uh, it still has a throttle cable, so it's not ride by wire. Um, so it still, it feels like riding a carbureted bike without having any of the, the, the fueling, uh, you know, the, the fueling difficulties sometimes, or the running difficulties sometimes, and having it tuned right for like your altitude or even, you know, quality of gas, temperature out. This bike, it does all that for you, but then you've still got a physical connection to the throttle body. So I'll give a couple small revs for you. Sounds awesome. It's not really loud in any way. It just has a great tone to it. I really like what Royal Enfield did there, really bringing out that uh, liveliness in that 350cc thumper. And you can see the ABS light is on. Uh, I'll shut it off now to talk about that. That's normal. The ABS light will go off after riding forward a few feet. Uh, the ABS. Uh, sensors just have to get a signal um, and do a little self-check. So that is completely normal by design. That ABS light will turn itself off once you start riding. So now, as we get towards the end of the video here, let's talk about accessories. Uh, tons of accessories available for the Classic, and I'll just name a few. Uh, it would take a lot of time to kind of name all of them. <laughs> um, but a link will go up right now in the video for you to click on. Uh, check out our, our e-store, our online parts store. We can ship motorcycle parts right to your door um, worldwide, actually. Uh, so definitely give that a look. You can get all these accessories there and more. Uh, we've got things like a rear luggage rack, uh, various windscreen options if you want to have just something small to deflect the bugs or something big to keep all the wind off you um, in your helmet. Uh, various options there as well as various uh, engine protection off offerings, or people like to call them crash bars, but I don't like to call them that because no one likes to have a crash. <laughs> uh, once again, small offerings, big offerings. We even have some that are nice and wide. They're gonna offer the ultimate protection if the bike you know, tipped over, unfortunately, um, or if you wanna be on the highway and kind of put your feet out on them, uh, plenty of options there. Uh, LED headlight bulb upgrade uh, makes a big difference on these with the uh, low and high beam. And another detail I love on this classic is that headlight visor. I will mention that. Uh, even right now, this bike has the grab handle, um, but you can upgrade to a backrest as well for your passenger uh, that replaces this grab handle. Uh, like I said, plus, plus much more, just check out our e-store and just click on uh, you know to shop by the classic 350 in that category. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new today about the Classic. Uh, whether you, you own one and you just wanted to learn more or you're debating on buying one of these bikes, really, my honest opinion, they're awesome bikes. Just go go to your local you know Enfield dealer, Royal Enfield dealer, and, and check it out in person. You'll be super impressed. Uh, I work around these bikes every day, and I'm always finding something 
something new to like be excited about that Royal Enfield uh, really puts into these bikes. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe so then you don't miss the daily motoring content. And this has been Ian reporting from our Boxborough showroom.